Hello everybody. Namaste and welcome to my channel Civil Laces. In previous videos, we did up to the design of residential building element. Now we are looking for designing the commercial building element from preliminary stage to complete design stage. So if you haven't watched our previous videos, you really should. Without any delay, let's move on to the today's video topic. We all know that slab is the basic element of building that takes part in the load transfer mechanism in building. To get the approximate required size of the slab, we need to do the preliminary design of slab. Preliminary design is all about finding the approximate sizing of the element, for example, slab, beam, or column. Before moving on the preliminary design of slab, you need to know the certain structural types of slab and load transfer mechanism in slab. So this video is all about the slab, that is types of slab and load transfer in slab. Structurally, slab is classified into two classes, that is one-way slab and two-way slab. Let's move on to the topic of one-way slab. This is a simple sketch showing the slab panel is supported by beams in two directions. This is the sketch of one-way slab. The basic definition of the one-way slab is a slab which is supported by beams on the two opposite sides to carry the load along one direction. Here in this figure, this slab is supported by these two beams. That is, slab loads are transferred to these two beams. Since the loads are transferred to these two beams, these two beams act as a support to the slab. And you can see that there are no supports in the transverse directions of these beams. Simply the slab is supported only in two sides. You will understand this easily when I make the line diagram of it. So this is the line diagram. Here these two triangles represent the support. That is they represent these two beams. And this line represents the slab. It is supported on these two beams. Since the loads are transferred to the support, there will be always reactions on the support. Due to the development of the reactions on the support, the bending moment develops at various locations of the structure. So due to the development of the bending moment, the structure bends like in this way. Since there are no supports on the transverse directions, there will be no bending in that directions. Thus slab bends in this way and the bending is only on one direction so it is clear that slab bends only in one direction when it is supported by two sides thus we can conclude that slab supported on two sides are all one-way slab because on one-way slab the loads are transferred to only on one directions and there will be bending on only on one directions the this side of the slab bends but this side of the slab doesn't bend. So all slabs that are supported on only two sides are one-way slab. Now let's talk about the two-way slab. This figure represents the slab which is supported by beams on all direction. That is slab is supported by the beams in all the four sides. The basic definition of two-way slab is two-way slab is a slab supported by beams on all four sides and the loads are carried by the supports along both directions. Previously in one-way slab, loads are carried only on the one directions, but in two-way slab, loads are carried on both directions. So here, this slab is supported by these four beams. So the slab loads are transferred to all the beams and these beams act as a support. So if I make a line diagram, then these two triangles represent the these two beams and they act as a support and this line represents the slab in these directions. So the loads are transferred to these beams also and there will be certain amount of support reactions on these two beams. Since there are support reactions and loads on this span, this span bends like this way. Similarly on other directions, the loads, these these two supports represent the these two beams and loads are transferred to these beams also 
and this span is and this line represents the span of slab in these directions since there are support reactions and loads on the span there will also be the bending on this slab so what we can conclude is if the slab is supported by beams on all the directions then loads are transferred to all the beams and there will be bending in both the directions but you need to be clear on a point that if the slab is supported by beams on all the directions you cannot say that the slab is a two-way slab that is slab supported on four sides may or may not be the two-way slab we have also other criteria to check those slabs supported on all sides are said to be the two-way slabs whose ratio of long span to short span is less than two that is if ly is the long side of slab and lx is the short span then it is only said to be the two-way slab when ly by lx is less than two that is ratio of long span to the short span should be less than two to be the all side supported slabs two-way slab on the contrary slabs supported on all the four sides remain one-way slab when ly by lx is greater than 2 that is ratio of long span to short span is greater than 2 so the conclusion is slab supported on two sides are all one way slab but slab supported on all four sides can be both one way and two way slabs depending upon the ly by lx ratios now let's explain why this ly by lx greater than 2 makes all side supported slabs to be one way slab you also need to know that slab loads are transferred to the edges or supports by the yield line theory for example i take this panel of slab whose dimension is 6 meter by 4 meter that is longer dimension is 6 meter and shorter dimension is 4 meter Assume this slab is supported by beams on all the directions. I haven't drawn the beams on this slab, but you assume that this slab is supported by beams on all sides. Since the ratio of long span to short span, that is 6 by 4, is less than 2, so it falls on the category of two-way slab. These five inside lines drawn on this slab represent the yield lines. Yield lines are typical crack patterns generated when ultimate moment is reached. To draw the yield lines, draw 45 degree lines from each corner of the slab and join this intersection point by a straight line. This describes the amount of load transferred to the edges. That is, this part of slab load represented by this arrow is transferred to this edge. Similarly, this part is transferred to this edge and this part is transferred to this edge and this part of slab load represented by this triangle is transferred to this edge. You can see that the area of trapezoid is greater than area of triangle in this case. So larger loads are transferred to the long edges and these long edges act as a support to this short span. So there will be always bending in more that is there will be always more bending in the short span here i take another slab whose one dimension is 12 meter and other dimension is 4 meter assume this slab is also supported by beams on all the sides for this slab if you find the ly by lx ratios that is 12 by 4 which is equals to 3 and it is greater than 2 the slab is supported on all sides by the beams but still the ly by lx ratios is greater than 2 this slab falls on the category of one-way slab these five lines are the yield lines and you construct these lines by drawing the 45 degree line from every corner of the slab and then joining these two point of intersection by a straight line this part of slab load is transferred to this longer edge similarly this part of trapezoid is transferred to this longer edge and this triangular area part of slab load is transferred to this shorter edge similarly this triangular part is also transferred to the shorter edge. So you can conclude that large loads are transferred to the longer edge and very short loads are transferred to the shorter edge. In comparison to the this LOB LX less than 2 slab, 
Here, very large loads are transferred to the longer edge and very small loads are transferred to the shorter edge. So, I make a line diagram and this arrow indicates the small support reaction developed at the shorter edge. The support reactions will be small since the small loads are transferred to the shorter edge. Similarly, there are longer loads that are transferred to the long edge and these support reactions will be large. The reactions developed at the longer edge will be large because the area of the trapezoid that is loads that are transferred to the longer edge will be more. Since this support reactions is large in this short span directions, there will be more bending moment on this span and the bending of the slab will predominantly occur in this span like in this way. Since the support reactions are very small in this short span, that is there will be very small support reactions on these short edges. So there will be very less bending in the long edges. We already know that the basic definitions of one-way slab is there will be load transfer in only one directions. If the alloy by LX ratio of slab is greater than 2, this is similar like load transfers only in one directions. We can neglect the transfer of loads in the short span directions. If the slab has alloy by LX ratio greater than 2, it behaves similar like as the one-way slab because there will be bending in only one directions and bending in other directions will be significantly less. I think you understand the concept of one-way and two-way slab. In another video, we will find out the preliminary size of slabs of commercial building. To know more about structural analysis and structures, please subscribe our channel Civil Laces. Do like, share and comment on this video. Thank you.